Well, everyone, I'm here at VCT Americas to talk to Masu from FlyQuest. All right, so you guys just managed to beat out 100 Thieves. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your strategy going into that? Were you looking to plant the spike in a, in a good way? Or like you guys split up your agents and go different directions? What was the deal? I'll see your sneaking uh, away. You're we were... The green girl with the smoke. Oh, shit. We were trying to take as much uh, space as possible yeah. before we plant the spike. Okay. Uh, that's why we went five uh, on B, level one. Yes, okay. Um, and your weapon choice, yeah. what guns did you choose in that third round? That that, third why round? did you choose those? The judge. The judge, right? Honestly, yes. I thought they were going to face check me. Okay. So I thought it was going to be like a close range fight. Yes. So I decided to pick up a judge, but... Okay. Well, that makes sense yeah. why you would do that. Mm. All right, that's it. Now, uh... <laughs> Okay, so you just played uh, Fly Quest, or sorry, you just played Hundred Thieves. Yeah. Uh, you guys were able to beat them. Mm -hmm. uh, you had like a rocky game yesterday. Yeah. Uh, what do you think allowed you guys to sort of recover from that and win today? Uh, to me, and I think the team overall, we didn't take yesterday's loss as like a shock or anything. Mm -hmm. We kind of came into this week and the next one, accepting if we lose, we're, we're just trying new things and we want to learn how we can stabilize our playstyle for playoffs. Yeah. So yesterday's loss wasn't really something that deterred us at all. I'd say everyone just reviewed the game, took what we learned from it and came into the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So good, good positive mental going into it. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of the different teams in the league right now? Because it does feel like energy and C9 are starting to be a little bit more resurgent, yeah. especially after pe people expected them to, to have a much better performance than they had the first four weeks of the yeah. split. Seems like maybe the, the break has helped them out. Yeah. So where do you think the power, uh, power is or the strength is in the LCS right now amongst the teams? I definitely do think C9's uh, score doesn't reflect their actual position in the league. Yeah. I think they're very good. Um, so I think, yeah, also NRG. I think it's between C9 and NRG as like the top three teams. Yeah. Um, NRG though, it's more shaky because some games they look like very good. And then other games like today, it's like they're just playing solo queue as five people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say C9 is the strongest team in my opinion. The str C strongest teams? Stronger other than, than us. No, oh, other okay. than us. No, no, legitimately. Do you think you, think you guys are stronger than them? Or do you think it's even? Like we're It's hard to tell right now, yeah. but from yesterday's game, I'd say we're even or they're slowly ahead. Okay. Yeah. Because right. I yeah, it was just fascinating to see what what how teams have handled the break. How yeah. did you guys handle the break? What did you do? Uh first we took like a two or three day break mm -hmm. just to like Calm down, like uh, take a rest. Reset, yeah. Yeah, reset. And then after that, we went into scrims wanting to try new stuff. Yeah. Because we wanted to just like branch out. So we tried a lot of different styles. We wanted to see what we liked the most just so we can prepare it for playoffs. And yeah, that's mostly how we yeah. use it. What has it been like playing in the, uh, the other room? The other room? Uh, honestly, it's not bad. Okay. It helps me because I'm still like nervous in front of crowds a little oh, bit. Oh, okay, okay. So I didn't mind it. Um, I know uh, my teammates don't like it too much. Zezo didn't like it too much, I heard. Yes. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's nice. Okay, so you're vibing this. I don't mind it. Okay. But it is nice to see people, yeah. but I feel less nervous there. Okay. So. Yeah, I, it's nice to get everybody's different takes because like there's clearly some players who really don't like it. Yeah. Uh, was it weird being so close to your opponent? Yeah, that is that is one big reason. Like um, before the game, we need to check if their headphones are on before we talk. Okay. Because sometimes, like if someone's headphones are off and we're talking loud because we have our own headphones on, yes, we might like they might hear something. Yeah. So uh, that's like the weirdest aspect, and okay. the white noise is like doubled. So. Oh, they're doubling up the white yeah. noise. Okay. Yeah. Is it hard to focus in that way? You get used to it okay. pretty quickly, yeah. Yeah. Does it just does it sound like you are playing in like a windstorm or something? Yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. It's like an airplane. Okay, but you get used to it. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fascinating. I've have. What is it like behind the scenes with all the VCT players? Like, does it feel weird? Do you see the VCT players? Like, what? I'm up in the in the press room. Yeah. There's one TV, which shows LCS. Okay. Every other TV is showing is VCT. Okay. Yeah. It feels a little on point for how 
this is all being handled. Yeah. But behind the scenes, what's it like? Um, personally, I uh, I was a big fan of like competitive Valorant, yeah. like VCT. So it was cool seeing all the players that I watched like a year or so back, yeah. like actually in front of me. Um, so yeah, just because I liked the esport, um, it was cool to me just seeing all the new faces and seeing like new logos on the doors like yeah. loud and stuff like that so it was cool did you go out and watch any of the games or will you after this interview um today's finals right yes or do you know? yeah so maybe okay it depends what we're doing as a team okay but i would like to watch yeah all right so it sounds like overall you're pretty happy with this weekend you're like yeah uh, there's no audience i feel less stressed mm -hmm. there's like some cool vct teams hanging out like yeah. that's neat yeah. like you're vibing yeah i don't okay. mind it all right it's good to know yeah uh it's nice because like I, I think a lot of us are frustrated about it yeah but it's also cool to hear that there are some people that are like yeah oh, no this is kind of cool yeah i mean of course like the frustration of like kind of i don't know how to say it we're like being swept under the rug yeah but not really it's just like for this weekend until they finish their competition so yeah it makes sense yeah, right. yeah. awesome did, how did you, did you enjoy the break or was that like I was kind of bored because I looked forward to stage games. Yeah. But um, I think the, the break was like even for me. Like it felt weird scrimming for weeks in a row without playing. Yeah. To like actually test out exactly where I am. Mm -hmm. But um, it, I had a lot of time to test stuff, so it wasn't bad. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, well, anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Uh, just thank you for watching us. Thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. Thank for everyone else, you can catch up with the rest of my coverage of VCT Americas right here on my YouTube channel. If you enjoy my coverage of VCT Americas, please click the link in the description below because I would really appreciate the support. Uh, it's I don't have a sponsor for my VCT coverage um, because, you know, I'm still bu building out in this arena, as it were.